Hello, and welcome to Bokida, Heartfelt Reunion. This game was made by Rice Cooker Republic, who I was surprised to learn are not Korean, even though this game has a lot of Korean in it, it's fully voiced in Korean. I thought it was a Korean game, but apparently they're French. What do you know? I don't know much about this game, but I had it recommended to me in a comment to one of my old Let's Plays, and the same commenter recommended this game along with Sing, The Land Beyond, however you pronounce it, X-I-N-G. And I played that game and really enjoyed it. It was very, very good. So the credibility of that person has gone up dramatically, so I'm optimistic about this game, and from just testing it out, it seems to run very well, despite having very simplistic options. It's a very simple game, just clean black and white with bits of color here and there. And I know it's quote-unquote an open-world puzzle game. So I guess there's some freedom in how you do things? I don't know. That's about all I know. So let's give it a shot. Oh, and I did buy this on sale a long time ago, and... As of recording this, and the day that this goes up, it will still be on sale again, now during the Steam Summer Sale. It's like 80% off or something. I think it was three and a half euros, which is the price I bought it for a couple months ago. I don't know when that was. So, if any of this seems interesting to you, then keep an eye out for it. It's very cheap, and just first impressions seem pretty promising. So, my name is Shilag. And yeah, you have a bunch of options here for languages, subtitles, and stuff, so that's good. I will stick to English. Well, that was very poetic, though I didn't really get much from it in terms of like, is that the actual story? Are we actually reuniting? What was that, the sun and the moon or the sun and earth? Is that the heartfelt reunion? <laughs> We want a solar eclipse? No idea. But I, I am noticing that it's very, very quiet, but I'm gonna leave that so 
before we get in here, just a quick look at the options menu. We have general settings as only language. Controls are fully rebindable, so that's... Oh, I thought I changed this already. I guess it defaulted back. We'll see if this is good. But yeah, you have sensitivities and invert options, and you can fully rebind all the controls, so that's good. I'll leave them as is for now, and we'll see if I need to do anything here. Video settings, and yeah, you can play on a controller as well. Not sure why you would want to in a first-person puzzle game, but the option is there. And video is just window on or off, resolution, shadow distance, AA, and max f FPS, which I thought I had upped, but let's do that. That should be fine, just because it feels a bit nicer for me, even though I'm recording at 60. This game seems to run pretty well. Generally, I'm getting between like 90 and 120 FPS, so that's promising in the first area of the game. We'll see if it drops. And this is what the default was for audio settings. You have master volume and music and sound effects. There's no slider for the voice, so I guess master would be the voice. You would turn up master and then turn down the others, which is a little awkward, but I'm gonna leave it by default or as default for the first one, and I'll see in editing if I need to tweak anything. I feel like I'm gonna have to tweak it because it was very quiet, especially for me, but we'll see. Again, very simple options menu, so not much to really fuck around with. Look, move the right stick or the mouse to look around. Move. Press W to move forward. Yep. Yeah. Okay, W, A, S, and D. And that's everything we get for now. I can't jump at the moment. Can't press any of those buttons like 1, 2, and 3, and 4 that were in the controls menu. So we just have to... I feel like I'm really short. I feel like I'm a dwarf. I don't know. I guess it's just a big place. Yeah, I can still go back up. Don't need to jump for that. Okay, what happens if... No, I can't even jump off. Fair enough. Man, it's so quiet. Should I just up it right now? I feel like I, I have to up it right now. My headphones don't even go that loud. So I'll fix this in editing, try and even it out. Because, yeah, it's very distracting when it's so low for me. Oh, crossroads. We can go right or left. Well, I guess I'll go left. Is this already the uh, open world element? Can I go here? No. Or did we just join up? with the right path. It would have come here anyway. Well, I'm just gonna keep hugging left and see where I end up. Yeah, we can go right here, but let's keep going left. Alright, pretty slow start so far. Nothing really happening, we're just walking. Who knows where. Alright, whoa! Press space to jump, finally I can jump. And now I'm stuck here. My exit, my entrance was removed, okay. But I could still like... No, I guess maybe you can't. Maybe I have to like finish something here before I can leave. Or maybe this is the exit? Thought that was like through the wall. Can't really jump that high. Nope. Alright, well, what happens if I just jump to my death? I'm getting pulled in. Oh, and it just loops? No? Is that where I came from? I guess it's just a, a giant loop. Yeah, okay. So you can't really fall, but can I land, like, up there? Or something? Can I somehow use this to get somewhere? 
No, I'm getting pulled back. It seems to really restrict you. Maybe I could land up there, but... Let's try that one more time. Yeah, it seems to pull you around pretty heavily. Yep, I can't really fight this. Nope, okay, never mind. So I guess I can't do anything here for right now. And you can't run or anything, can't go faster. Seems bunny hopping is actually faster. Is it? I don't know. Oh, here we go. One to use the build tool. So how did I get here? I started at one, I guess, and then I went down to two and then went back up. Is it like anti-chamber? Things just changing around when you just turn the corner? All right, one to use the build tool. Open the passage. Left click to place a cube in the socket. Do I have cubes? I guess I have cubes, but I couldn't place them anywhere else. Using the mouse, aim at the cube you just placed. I can't even... Oh, no, I can move. I just can't go... What? That was weird. I couldn't go forward for some reason. Then hold left click down while dragging your... Oh, while dragging your mouse across the horizontal bar. Okay, uh, hold on one moment there, guy. Just want to see over here. Yeah, same deal here. I'll just loop back around and land in the same spot. Yep, okay. And there's no range to this power? Nope. Open the passage. Aim at any cube you already placed, then hold down left click. While holding left click, drag your mouse around to fill the door frame. Okay, but I can't just fill in everything if, if I want to. But I can't delete any right now? Alright. Not sure if just a, a frame would have worked. Press 2 to use the cut tool. I see. Left click to launch a blade. Ah. Hold left click down for a wider blade. Rotate the blade with wheel up and wheel down. Cut through what we uh, what you built to investigate the tool's effect. So I'm like scrolling and then doing like this kind of thing. And then cutting here. And then here. And that gets removed. And I just have to cut more. There we go. Press 3 to use the push tool. Oh my god, they're just introducing everything. Usually you would have like one section introducing one button and then another one and then another one. Here's just everything at once. Press left click to put to launch a shockwave. Hold left click down for a more powerful shockwave. Push away some of what you have cut. The click, this is a shockwave. Hold it down to charge up. And it's a big one. Clean. Press 4 to use the clean tool. Aim at a surface nearby. Press left click to create a deletion sphere. Hold left click down for a larger sphere. Wipe out some cube fragments. Ah, okay, cool. Whoa, 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 ho, ho, okay. You can just keep holding it down and delete the world. It's just still going, I'm just holding it down. It's gonna delete everything. All right, and let go. And it's all gone. Press tab to cycle through the tools. Did I miss something in the top left? Switch tools, I see. Oh, just spam tab a couple times. So yeah, now, oh, that just unlocks. I thought I had to do it again to prove that I knew how. So I can't just like build wherever I want. But I can slash and clean and push wherever I want. Oh my god. And suddenly, oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely anti-chamber. Oh, press and hold W for several seconds to move more swiftly. Okay. That seems a little annoying. If it takes that long to start sprinting, but... Oh well. That's one way to do it, I suppose. Yeah, I can build here. 
and clean. Can I cut this? No. How do I pull it this way? You have to be in a specific orientation, I see. And I have to, like, grab it again. Can't drag it that way. I guess the ground is, like, sloped and clipping into it or something. So if I do this and I just fill this in... And then I cut this... Yeah, it's not like I'm opening anything up or whatever. Oh god, can you push your own block? You're standing on one and you push it? Uh... Maybe... I don't know, seems a little finicky. And then we clean all of this up. That's a very cool effect. And it's gone. Alright. So I guess I'm sprinting now. I wonder though, if I hold down W and then I wanna like look somewhere and now I'm strafing, am I still sprinting or do I have to re sprint the entire way? Is there jump buffering? No, there's no real jump buffering, it seems. It's kind of hard to tell where land is here. Huh. This is nothing? That's apparently nothing. I mean, should I just try... I, I kind of have to see just what happens if you just run away. What if you just run off the map? Are we at the end of the world, or does it just keep going? Surely this is the end. It's not the end? It's not the end. Oh boy. Yeah, I am still moving backward. I'm not hitting a wall or anything. Is this actually just infinite? Or will I reach the end of the world? You can't push blocks that you haven't already cut because they're like attached to the the floor, I suppose. I wish I could ride that. And you can do that. Wait, hold on. Let's place a couple blocks here, just so I know if I'm actually traveling or not. Not really. No, that doesn't seem to be an effective means of travel, unfortunately. So, there, there's a pretty big flaw with this whole experiment I'm doing right now. I don't know how to get back. Because I, I don't know if there's like a quick reset. I feel like I'm probably just going to have to walk back, which is... Uh, very fun. I'm just surprised it keeps going. Like, sure, it's just a blank sheet of white. It doesn't really take anything to render or whatever, but still, you would expect to fall out of the world or face an invisible wall or something eventually. And can I? Yeah, you can build up as well. How did I go flying so, so high? Fuck.
Not like that. I don't know what I did to make that happen. Spamming it does nothing. Yeah, that's weird. Sometimes I can build really fast and jump very high. And yeah, I am not seeing any edge to this at all, so, uh... Clear blocks. Uh, what if I just change save and then jump back in? Oh, fuck! God damn it, game! Oh, no! Well, I did this to myself. But you know what? Instead of this, I could just do... Change save. And then we delete. And my name... Shalag. And then we have this whole thing again. But there's a skip bu button here, it's very minimalistic. Oh, and yeah, I think maybe now the options were reset again, which is weird why it does that. I'm just thinking I, I'll check out the right side and see if it changes at all. I kind of don't think it's going to, but just to make sure. Alright, let's head right. And more right. And it just takes me to the same place. Okay, so no point to that. You go to the same place. So let me just get back to the white area. All right, let's just test. Can I just build only the frame? Is that fine? No, you have to actually fill the entire door frame. Fair enough. And I guess you want to try and remember the the symbols. Building is a square, cutting is a slash, pushing is a circle, and cleaning is a diamond. Just in case there's like any visual hints here and there just saying like, cut this, then you know. Alright, here we go again. Let's not make that mistake again. Curiosity was a bad idea. Yeah, I probably won't even have time to do much more today. Let's just quickly check out what's over here. Activate the monolith. Activated. Hold down space when you jump to jump higher. Whoa! Oh, that's what I was doing! Okay, so it wasn't anything about building. Interesting. That's it? Can I... Get up here? Alright, that's a cool mechanic. I like that a lot. So I guess we just go and activate the other monoliths. Should I get up here? Nothing. Ah, I can't like build off of it and just make a bridge. There we go, you can do that kind of stuff. Ah, yeah, you have to have the uh, angles. And activate another one, or do- Ah, I see, I have to cut this off. Yeah, or can I just erase it? Nope, erasing doesn't work, it has to be cut. And then it's activated. When you are airborne, hold space to glide! Oh my god! They are adding in all the mechanics here. This is surprising. But what about this one then? Can I... Do I clean? Like it cleans up the bad bits? Nope. Push? Ah, you just have to push it all. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. And that's that level. Should I read this? The motion of my return is inevitable. It does not rely on acts. Yet I have grown impatient. Fulfill your role, messenger, and may too soon be re reunited. Feels kind of bad to read over the, the voiceovers. Maybe I shouldn't. You can read it yourself. I'll read the stuff that isn't voiced. And I guess those are just breadcrumbs showing you, like, roughly the way you want to try and go? Maybe? No idea what those icons are about. We'll try and find out. But, I'm gonna leave it off there. Boost! With a build tool, aim at a structure or fragment you created and hit right-click to pull yourself towards it. Oh my god, that would have been handy, going to the, the end of the world. But, I'm gonna leave that for next time. I'm just gonna pick right back up here and hopefully this all recorded all right and uploads all right and I'll get the sound levels all right and all that. Very interesting beginning here. Didn't really do much. I wasted most of the time but I'm intrigued. Lots of neat mechanics. I like the soundtrack. The voiceover seems fine. I mean I don't know Korean so I can't really tell but I like the vibe it's got going for it so far. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!